Here is another one of these super awesome videos that I usually make. Well, sometimes I don't, but this one could actually be that for the right person. Now, what I'm going to do is cut a regular stair stringer and use that as a pattern to lay out and mark the plywood that I'm going to use for my template. Now, you don't need to do this. You can always lay out the plywood, and I do have other videos on that. And then after you have it laid out, you've double checked all your measurements. I know that's not what we're all going to do, but it always helps to double check all your measurements, especially if you're dealing with expensive lumber. And the lumber I'm using here is inch and an eighth plywood. I will not be able to provide you with the exact materials to use and don't really know if this is something that would be approved by a structural engineer, which would probably bring up your next question. Why did I make the video in the first place? And that's because I actually have seen it done before. And we'll leave it up to you as to whether or not you're going to use this idea or contact an engineer that will provide you with specifications for materials and assembly. So you can see where we're going to end up with a lot of waste here. However, for this project here, we're going to be able to get at least two pieces to assemble our stringer with out of one sheet. And keep in mind that this might not be the case for you because it's actually going to depend upon the design and the length of the stringer and of course the length of the landing. And if you need to position them a little further apart, then something like this might help. And of course, don't forget to get as creative as you need to be. Maybe you can actually get a few more of these stringer supports out of one sheet of plywood, or consider getting longer pieces of plywood if that will work for your project also. And next up, we are going to glue these pieces together. I would suggest being liberal with the glue. Do not be conservative. And if it was me, I would spread the adhesive on both of the sides that I'm going to be putting together. And of course, you would repeat this process if you were going to be installing more than two of them together. And if you have clamps, I would use them. Clamp the heck out of these babies. And even though I only have four here, you're probably going to need a couple down here, two here, a couple here, and then a few over here. And you could always glue two of them together at a time and let them dry. And then attach the next one after the adhesive is dried. And you believe the previous ones are securely fastened together. Now you can always use nails or maybe even screws or even bolts if that will work better for your project. And then after that is done, you can go ahead and assemble this section of your stairway with a landing that just might not require any structural supports underneath this section of the stairway where we normally would have a wall or a beam. And thanks for watching. To learn more about home building and repairs, visit us at our website. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.